what it is and what it ain't. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. But first, you got to hit that post notification bell button. So you know been in the loop every time I drop another video. We're going to talk about the beef between Trick Trick and Beyonce. I know a lot of y'all people like, there ain't no beef with them. But it is some beef because that boy Trick Trick complaining about Beyonce promotional team coming into his establishment and plastering posters all over, you know, his building. So he was like, Man, y'all need to stop plastering uh, Beyonce promotional uh, stuff in front of my establishment. And, you know, it's going to be a 500 cleanup fee. Because, you know what I mean? He's saying there's no fly zone. And, you know, females, they not excluded. So, I don't know what's going on, man. Because that boy Trick Trick out may never sold good. You know, he always sold double wood. So, what's the problem? that Beyonce uh, promoting her CD out there in Detroit. But they was like, man, it ain't no problem. It's just like you need to tell your promotional street team that they can't just go anywhere plastering your pictures everywhere. You know what I mean? And in Detroit, we ain't having that shit. But Trick Trick on some other shit, a lot of people saying, but I don't know, man. You think Trick Trick got a point? about what he talking about because he said he got a reward for anybody that could find that dude that put that stuff up in front of his establishments. You know what I mean? Because he said, yeah, the D dirty, but it belongs to him. You know what I mean? And if y'all ain't uh, checking in and doing it the right way, don't promote yourself in Detroit because if he catch it, it's going to be smoke. And Trick Trick took the time out to uh, post a message and uh, tag Beyonce in it and say, don't be having this dude come over here putting up promotional flyers because y'all know a lot of uh, companies, they normally buy these billboards and stuff and they post them in all the major markets for people to see it. And I guess, you know, coming to Detroit, Trick Trick got some of the best establishments that people don't know that get a lot of traffic drove in, people see. So, you know, Beyonce them really not knowing, went up there and posted some flyers and posters and stuff, and it seemed to be a problem, man, because Trick Trick ain't respecting it, you know what I mean? Trick Trick known to have beef with a lot of rappers, rob them, take their jury and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't think he want to really be fucked up with Beyonce because Beyonce will have his ass locked up. But, you know, he always want to uh, poke the bell. You know what I mean? So we're going to see how this turn out, man. It's, you know, he's trying to say uh, Beyonce blackballed from coming to Detroit and putting up posters and marketing her uh, CD the right way on the campaign. Or is it just an issue because he didn't want the dude in front of his stove because I guess he went to his stove and he looked at the cameras and he seen the dude putting up the flyers and the posters and stuff on one of his buildings. So he pissed off about it. But you know what I mean? It is what it is because, like I said, out of all these big cities, you got the market. And Detroit is one of the biggest cities for marketing and stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know they're going to hit the city up and plaster the city. You know what I mean? With the upcoming project, man, that's only right. So, I don't know what uh, this cat talking about, man. Trick, trick, man. You know what I mean? Just seem like he got to pick on somebody. Because, you know, Beyonce was already getting a lot of slack about the album. So he wanted to step in and try to cash in. But I don't think he making the best decision for herself because Beyonce them is a whole nother level. I mean, if you touch that girl or you fuck with some of her people, I guarantee you won't get away with it. You know what I mean? Uh, she ain't no bum like half of the other rappers and stuff that you done ran into, because them niggas is D-list, you know what I mean, she elite, she A-list, and you know, Trick Trick don't even got no rap career no more, you know what I mean, he done had songs with Ice Cube, Eminem, and everybody else, and it still ain't help him, 
You know what I mean? That cat probably only sold 15 copies of his last album. He got a little weed strain and stuff like that. He trying to get it off the market. But you know what I mean? Trick, trick. He ain't nobody. He don't even make good music. You know what I mean? And Beyonce was like, man, you do features with Charlie Baltimore, man. You post up uh, her flyers and stuff out there in Detroit and her posters. You know what I mean? Everybody else come out there and uh, wet the city up with marketing. But you get mad when she do it because you already know she selling a lot of albums. But them trash rappers that you affiliate with, you let them come through, pay drive, and do whatever. You know what I mean? So she got the same type of uh, pass, too. Because Beyonce was in the game way before Trick Trick ever even got noticed. You know what I mean? Texas, Houston, always promoted in Detroit. What is this nigga talking about? You know what I mean? Detroit and Houston, damn near second homes to each other. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what's going on. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I just know Trick Trick got an APB out on the white dude who had the poster. And you know what I mean? He got a screenshot of the dude's face. And he said, yeah, Beyonce need to warn these people about just going anywhere, putting up fo- uh, flyers and posters, man. I don't think it's a big issue, but Trick Trick probably wants some money. He want his hands and something. You know how that shit is. Extortion game, niggas want to pay draft and uh, want the celebrities to pay up just for even coming over there. But we're going to see how they handle it because Beyonce is aware of it. He's tied to in it. And I know a lot of people listen when Trick Trick speaking, but I don't think Beyonce really care because the dirt already done, damage done. She just moving to the next city, getting that bag because she got a number one album. So what the fuck? She care about Trick Trick who can't even make the top 100 chart. She'll get that nigga a feature, and he still can't do nothing with it. Because basically, he just can't rap. And that's what people say, man. All he do is want to fight people, extort people, catch them, and beat them up. You know what I mean? He ain't uh, no real artist. You know what I mean? So that's what uh, Beyonce team them talk about. They going to keep promoting Wherever they got to go do it, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace of mind.